in the early hours of February 18th, 1975, a young woman was struck by a vehicle on the A1 near Baldock, North Hertfordshire. The person who was driving the vehicle that killed her has never been identified, and they have never come forward. The young woman was last seen by a witness at 5.30am, just 45 minutes before she was killed. The witness stated that she said that she was heading for London, and that she spoke with a foreign accent. The young woman is thought to have been between the ages of 17 and 25. She had fair hair and hazel eyes and a few distinguishing features, a scar on her right leg and a piercing in her right ear. She wore a brown afghan coat, brown leather waistcoat, a white cotton Chelsea girl blouse, a white cotton smock with a floral pattern and imitation lace, black pre jeans and a chiffon lace scarf. When she was found, she wasn't wearing any shoes, wasn't carrying a bag, and had no form of identification. Following an appeal in June 2010, which contained a facial reconstruction of the woman, a couple came forward to say that they recognised her. They recognised her as a young French student named Odile, who had stayed with them in the early 70s. David Liversedge had met her in 1972, when she was hitchhiking on the London's North Circular during a thunderstorm. She then went on to stay with David and his wife, Barbara. The young woman who stayed with the couple was between 23 and 25 years old and said that she was from north of Paris or had lived in the northern part of Paris. She had friends in Newquay, Cornwall and would often hitchhike to visit them. When she wasn't visiting friends in Newquay, she could regularly be found in the Stockford Social Club sipping on cider as apparently she was a fan of it. In 1973, she then relocated to Cambridge to study at a language school. The couple did not see her again after her relocation, but believe that she may have been returning to visit, given the fact that the unidentified woman's body was found only a few miles from their home. If this woman bears any resemblance, no matter how small, to someone you once knew or have lost touch with, please get in contact with us. Your information alone can help us identify this woman. For more information on this case, please visit our website, locate.international.